crazy heifers, man, and their mask cultism. Remember, people used to get upset. You had other YouTubers, leftist YouTubers, that got really mad that I called them. I said that they were in a cult because they are. We're about to listen to someone, you know, with the whole TSA. They're not enforcing the mask mandate and all that. And the, the amount of people that have freaked the fuck out. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's been a, it's been something to watch. But these guys are saying some deranged thing. MSNBC, you guys know uh, BSNBC. They they have their own uh, doctor or something, and um, or that they had on there who's saying some interesting things about this. I'm not even gonna set it up what she said. Let's listen to it. I just want you to show how I just want to show y'all how crazy these motherfuckers are. Let's listen. If people want to stay safe, the best thing they can do high quality masks, and that when possible carry some extra masks. I know this sounds crazy, but if you tell someone next to you on a plane, pay a ninety five and just say or surgical mask and just say. I've got an elderly mother at home. I've got a child with cancer at home. Will you please do me a favor? Having the people at least closest to you in that row, protecting yourself and them, can be the best safety. So carry some extra masks with you. Carry some rapid tests with you if you're traveling. Okay. So this half of just... All right, so she just said, for those of you that weren't, keep, weren't keeping up with what she said, she said that, all right, this is obviously in the context of mass mandates being eliminated in this particular space on planes. She is saying that you should carry an extra man. Okay, it's a cult. Do not tell me it's not a cult when they operate as such. I'll stop saying that you're in a cult when you stop acting like you're in a cult. Nonetheless, she's saying you should carry some extra mask and then you should guilt trip your the person next to you who may be sitting to you on a plane with cancer. Oh, I got someone at home that has cancer. Would you please? I could not imagine being on a plane and someone asking me that shit. I don't even know how I would respond, to be honest. Would I laugh at him? Like, are you fucking sick? Are you fucking joking right now? And I I've told y'all before, man, the reason why this specifically doesn't make sense, because this is a recent phenomenon where you expect someone else like you go assume a risk and then you expect someone else to take care of your ass or your or your family for that matter. It's insane. Humans throughout history have been spreading viruses and all kinds of bacteria and shit. And that includes things that have and don't have vaccines. Every time you are among other people, you risk. You take a risk. You assume it. It just comes with the territory. You may spread something to them that. You may not know they touch a surface, someone else touches it, whatever it is. And yeah, you might not have the reaction, but they might have a reaction. I talk about this a viral pneumonia as an example. And that doesn't even have a cure in the event that that uh, it's not associated with the influenza. However, at no point in time was it ever, ever assumed. Did you ever assume that someone was doing something wrong because they went out in public or they went out in public and didn't have a diaper on their face. You wouldn't guilt trip that person at the gas station saying, oh, I have an elderly mother at home. You may spread some bacteria. Can you please go home or, or wear a mat? Like this is a relatively new phenomenon and it's irrational. And the fact that there's still people in this world, including folks that work with the medical industry that are trying to sell this people that sell these people on this charade is insane. And it makes people have to put on a 10 4 heads. Like, why are you pushing this stuff? And none of it makes any sense. It wasn't the position that you had before. Why do you have the position now? And then not to mention a wonky science on this on this whole ordeal anyway. This heifer is telling you to carry a mask with you. Carry multiple masks and tests, right? It's a cult. Carry multiple tasks and multiple rapid tests. And basically, you need to guilt trip your neighbor. Guilt trip the person that's next to you. And I would, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not, I'm not a biologist. Uh, I'm going to tell you this though. I wouldn't advise doing that for reasons that you're probably going to get into an altercation that could have been easily avoided because you sat up there and tried to uh, a snide, do the snide way of basically demanding someone put a mask on that you're carrying. That makes for a very awkward, weird conversation that regular people are not going to be interested in having. You're in a cult and you need to come to terms with it. Leave.
You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Kenan's sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Young Ripper 59 and Odyssey.com slash at Young Ripper 59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.